yesterday he had a shaky game. He managed to survive. Yeah, he was it's completely lost. Right? Uh, that's not usually common. That you have like 27, 40 or 30, a guy who is dead lost after 15 moves with white playing against 25, 80, and basically the guy has on clock four minutes more than he started his game. And uh, basically it was not theoretical. Okay, what, which move do we have? Is this C4 or D4? D4, okay. So D4 was played. Kukesh is now considering knight F6 or D5, I guess. So knight will land on F6. Andrejkin is usually using his left hand to make moves and right hand to right moves. Uh, that's something we were discussing many times. Uh, that there are players who are doing the same. I think Aronian is doing the same. Who else? There are several players. Women section, for example, I think also Julia is doing the same. So it's quite, quite common habit for some players. Of course, on the camera as well, uh, you can see we've mentioned Abdusadorov uh, right next to uh, Gukesh and next to him we have Prague in the back, although you cannot see him at the moment. I would say maybe even more. And uh, Borki Predojevic, uh, who is the captain that match, but uh, before that, okay. Tell, tell you that, that yesterday uh, in the evening, first I, I met uh, Raul Lomedov. Uh huh. Did you ask about yes, the Yes, of course. Okay, Raul. Okay, uh, drum rolls. What a game. Yes, he said, you are crazy. I wanted to go first Queen C5 to repeat the moves and then uh -huh. to go Queen C6. Uh huh. Uh, ah, but, uh, so, but yeah. okay, I asked, okay, at which point uh, you were thinking about uh, the win? Was it on the menu at all? He said after B, I think the move was B4. After B4, I was I was certain that I'm okay, but he didn't mention like he was thinking for a yeah that he's he was thinking for a win and maybe at all. Uh, okay, then I met him this morning okay. as well. So first thing <laughs> I said, okay, Ralph, how is the game now? How is your uh, like opinion? Uh, after things have settled, he said I couldn't sleep till 3 a.m. Uh -huh. so that's the first thing. Uh -huh. uh, why I didn't took on F, why I didn't take on F2? I don't know because some rook F2. I didn't see a checkmate that I can start mating with uh, knight E2 and stuff. Uh -huh. So that's that's his uh, that was his uh, point. And uh, okay, actually I can I can show it on the board once again. I think we can adjust it.
days for a trekking, you're lost against perhaps 25, 90 feet wide, and suddenly you're pushing. So that someone who said that uh, Behaj can make a better result of life against the trekking than Mukesh, huh? It's, it's incredible, it's incredible and such a day, the first match we had so many ups and downs in that match. Oof. Yeah, okay, let's let's discuss this. First point, what you need to know that you have two connected passers. Sometimes they say the rook is winning uh, alone. For example, let's say that I play, that you wait with some ridiculous stuff. You wait and I just start rolling and you cannot stop. So this is first thing you need to know. So rook is winning alone. So the point is here that uh, uh, you need to create something on the, on the other ring super fast because it's quite easy. If the king is in front, then it's easy, then it's tougher, but uh, then you cannot win alone. But if the king is somewhere inside, then it's just, uh, just a win. Uh, so it comes very fast. First, second, like five moves, and you are already busted. So in five moves, you need to create something on the other ring. The main problem is that get rid of my change from the pair of pawns, then black would be able to create something, but white is hiding behind this guy. So very tough position for Rukesh and 